Lukey has brought new entry-level smartphone in the Philippines in the form of the X60L. It sports a 5.5 HD 18 by 9 aspect ratio, MediaTek quad-core processor, 2 GB RAM, 3,300 milliamp hour battery, and an affordable price tag. What's up guys, Kim here from Yugatech and here's a review of the Doogie X60L. The Doogie X60L has adopted an arc transition design which consists of a 2.5D glass on the front and curved sides at the back. The body is made of a plastic with a metallic paint job, but it isn't as much magnet. It's light in the hands but feels solid and easy to grip. On the front, it sports a 5.5 inch 18x9 display with 1280 by 640 resolution, which equates to 260 ppi. It uses Samsung Super AMOLED panel, which is actually pretty impressive and very unlikely for an entry-level smartphone to have. Well, just like what you would expect in a Super AMOLED screen, the device offers a vibrant display with a good amount of contrast. Outdoor usability is decent as well. You will also find here the earpiece, the 8 megapixel front shooters, and the light sensor. Found on the right are the volume rocker and power unlock key, while the left side is devoid of any buttons. Up top are the 3.5mm audio port and micro USB port. Down below are the loudspeaker and microphone. Audio quality is no stunner, but it would suffice for casual listening. Its highs and lows can get pretty muffled, and setting the volume at maximum level can give a distorted sound. The back house is a dual camera setup, which consists of a 13 megapixel main, plus 8 megapixel secondary, plus the LED flash. You will also find here the fingerprint scanner, as well as the Doogie logo at the bottom. The device is a removable back panel, so if you have short nails, removing it can be quite a struggle. Inside you will find the dual micro SIM slots, dedicated micro SD card slot, and the non-removable 3300mAh battery. Despite being an entry-level device, the X60L comes with a dual camera setup. It has a 13 megapixel main camera and an 8 megapixel secondary with LED flash. The front shooter, on the other hand, is at 8 megapixel. There are several modes for you to choose from, such as panorama, HDR, beauty, bokeh, mono, and night. The front camera is limited to HDR, beauty, mono, and night mode. We're actually pleased with the resulting images of its rear shooters. For an entry-level device, it can take some pretty good sharp photos with accurate color. Autofocus is quick, its bokeh feature, well is okay, but it tends to miss some spot. Low-light photos tend to come out noisy and grainy. Selfies, on the other hand, are decent at its best, daylight-wise. They don't look overly sharp, so some details are still preserved. We appreciate the fact that using the beauty mode only smoothens our skin and didn't entirely turn us into creepy dolls. Video-wise, it doesn't have much to offer. It can only shoot up to standard definition, which is only at 640x480 resolution in .3 GP format. Running the X60L software is Android 7.0 Nougat. The user interface is almost stock and uses an app drawer with custom icons and wallpapers. Pre-installed apps are kept to a minimum, which, as per usual, are from Google. It uses on-screen navigation keys, and there's also gesture control that you can find under the settings menu that allows you to do, you guessed it, several gestures on the screen to launch certain apps or activate a feature, like the two-finger gesture, gesture motion, and smart motion. The device comes with 16GB of internal storage, and 5.18GB of it were consumed by the system. If you do the math, there's still a not-so-plentiful 10.82GB for you to use. There's a dedicated microSD slot, so you need not worry. Powering the X60L is a MediaTek MTK6737 quad-core processor clocked at 1.3GHz paired with a Mali-T720 GPU and a 2GB RAM, doing basic tasks like messaging and navigating the UI are okay, but the device tends to slow down if there are two or more apps that are running on the background. Still, it's a decent performer and its fingerprint scanner is responsive. Playing graphically intensive games like Asphalt 8, Tekken Mobile, and Into the Dead 2 suffered a lot from constant freeze and lags. Casual games like Candy Crush or Wordscape ran just as fine. The device didn't heat up quickly, which is quite nice. We also ran several benchmarking apps, but for Intuitu, it yielded a score of 34,617 points. The X60L comes with your basic connectivity functions such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 4G LTE, and GPS. However, it lacks a handful of sensors including gyroscope. We encountered no problem when connecting to the Wi-Fi or mobile data as it connects pretty quickly. Call quality is good too, just make sure you're getting enough signal. GPS locks in fast and accurate when using Google Maps and Waze. 
Giving life to the device is a 3,300 milliamp hour non-removable battery. It was able to last an entire day of moderate usage without the help of a power bank, although you might need to reach for one if you're an excessive data user. The device yielded 8 hours and 1 minute in our PC Mark battery test, while it had 9 hours and 40 minutes in our standard video loop test. Charging it is a crawl as it took us around 3 hours to have it fully replenished. Doogie has done a pretty good job of releasing an entry-level smartphone that is packed with some really good stuff in it. The X60L isn't a stunner, but for its affordable price, you're getting a 5.5-inch HD Super AMOLED display, 2GB RAM, dual 13MP plus 8MP shooters, and a decent 3300mAh battery. If you're looking for a daily driver that won't make your wallet cry, then this device is a good start. The X60L is priced at 5,399 pesos at Lazada. And that sums up our review. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that bell button to get notified for new contents. Again, this is Kim, and see you in the next video. Bye!